What's up, YouTube? Some stuff I thought was pretty cool to share today. We did get our second delivery of Tin Boys. Uh, I've shown this one off before. This is the Eldar Tin Boy. Well, as Eldar as orcs can make something, right? This is the second one I ordered. This is the one that I've been waiting on. Uh, this is the Space Marine version. It's not the best example because it did come with this gaudy layer of paint. I don't know what the hell somebody was even thinking at the time. I, 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 I don't know what's going on here. Let's half prime something and then start smearing yellow over some of it. I don't know what's going on here. The good thing is these are, um, these are pewter models, so they should be pretty easy to strip all of the paint. It's not like I'm dealing with plastic here. Uh, I'm going to look up the best chemical to use, soak these. Uh, I really wish you could see the detail better in this, that the paint kind of kills it. Uh, he does have a really cool uh, power fist hand thing. So his looks more like an actual power fist. The Eldar one looks more like a claw, but they're both pretty cool. Uh, the gun... If anybody is interested in maybe getting one of these because they think they're pretty cool, I think this guy's going to look awesome once he gets painted. Uh, be careful buying these if you see one discounted because for whatever reason, probably because they came with a gun option where you could put a different gun on them or something. Uh, I've seen a few of them where somebody's cut the gun off to put a different gun on. Um, that does not hold its value. People want the original model. Uh, it just it looks better with this gun anyway. It's not like the other gun was a huge upgrade. But if you do get one of those, I mean, who knows what it's going to look like depending on how shoddy of a job somebody did when they cut this off. I mean, it's not like this is plastic. It's a little bit harder to do. Regardless, it's not the same model anymore, so be careful. Uh, I ended up getting this model actually for a deal. <laughs> because it's kind of coated in paint, I think. I was bidding on another one of these at the same time. You know, I was winning the bid at the time, and then I made an offer on this one, and it was actually accepted. And my offer was already lower than my bid. So I went ahead and canceled the bid, and the guy was really cool about that. So I just waited for this one. I made sure he had the right gun, and it was everything I wanted. Now he's here. I just have to get, you know, all this terrible paint stuff off of him. But he is really a cool-looking model. Look at those shoulders. I guess that's how orcs perceive Space Marines, at least back in the day, with big-ass shoulders. It makes sense. He looks great with the other one. Waiting on the third one, who is actually a squat. So he's going to be even a little bit shor shorter, a little bit wider. He's pretty much just going to be like a little dwarf, a little metal dwarf with a... It's like a cannon for an arm. So, very cool. Can't wait to get all three of them. Then I'm going to work on painting them. Should be fairly easy paint jobs to do. I might outsource that because obviously I got a good studio now. But I brought a custody, uh, a Sagittarium Guard custody, just to give you a size comparison. It's kind of funny. Now, custodies are like the superhuman soldiers of superhuman soldiers because... I mean, these guys are big, even by Space Marine standards, but, you know, the uh, the Orc Eldar, whatever you want to call this thing, this Tin Boy, is actually pretty close. I think he is modeled off of a Wraith Guard. That's why he's so tall. But they're not very small models. Uh, the Space Marine one would actually look a lot better standing next to an actual old space marine model because that's about as big as they were uh but still very cool models can't wait to do something with them they just mean something to me so here's two out of three just wanted to share the good news this guy did come in safe and sound um just waiting on that last one and then maybe we can look for the very rare and limited terminator model so i'm not going to hold up my breath on that one but this, this was pretty cool, so I figured like sharing it. I hope you enjoyed, and 
I'll be getting a camera soon, so we'll be getting better quality on these. And hopefully I'll see you then. Later.